revolution will be live. America, Indonesia, the whole friggin' world, and West boy. You know what's happening today, West? Mmm. Taco Thursday? Taco Thursday, I don't think that's it. Well, let me tell you, boy, it's a Marvel Day! It's been so long since the last Marvel Day, which was what, November? At least. Yeah, that was November for Thor Ragnarok. And guess what today is, guys? Today is... Black Panther get released in theaters. We got our tickets two weeks ago because, boy, the seats were filling up. Yep, even two weeks ago. I remember two years ago when Civil War came out, I watched Black Panther on screen with Spider-Man and the rest of the Avengers, and I was thinking, wow, this guy's gonna get his own movie. But I feel like it's still far, far away. And guess what, Wes? We're only a few hours away from it. It's that time. It's that time! <laughs> So what I heard from this movie that we actually take from where we left off from Civil War and at the end of Civil War the after credit scene we see Cap and Bucky in Wakanda and we get a tiny bit of glimpse of Wakanda which is that big ass statue of that lep leopard jaguar panther bro <laughs> I like how we both got it wrong, even though we know the title is Black Panther. I was I was going along with that. I don't know, Wes. What's your most excited thing about Black Panther? To be honest, <laughs> Stan Lee's cameo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, no. no, that's that's right. You know why? Because like a couple weeks ago, dude was in the hospital, and we were Marvel fans, Marvel Church members were concerned. I don't want to say this is it. I don't. <laughs> I'm not ready for him to leave. I know he's 96 years old. He's he's hella old boy. But he made such great he legacy. Looks, he looks like he's 86. He looks really good for his age, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. This video would not exist if it weren't for him. Stanley, thank you. Stan the man. Stan the man. I like that. I'm looking to see uh, what happens with Bucky. Yes. I don't know if we're going to actually see any of that. For me, what I really, really look forward to from this movie is we actually get to see the whole Wakandan culture, city, and how everything works there because we hear about it in Age of Ultron, they mention Wakanda. In Civil War, they mention Wakanda, but we actually get to see it tonight. And most and foremost, Michael B. Jordan. I'm gonna burn it all. Dude, I heard so much good stuff about him. I was reading some articles, spoiler-free articles that, you know, I mean, Michael B. Jordan actually did some good stuff here. Like, he was one of the best villains of Marvel. I was like, whoa, okay, that's kind of a lot to say. So I guess we find out how it Oscar worthy. Oscar worthy. <laughs> but I'm excited, guys. We're here. We made it to Black Panther. This is like towards the end of Space 3. Because after this, <laughs> it's just Avengers Infinity War, boy! Like, ah! I just got goosebumps, man. Like, whoa! Oh, yeah, those are goosebumps. <laughs> The movie's at 10.15, right now it's 6.11, we've got about 4 hours to chill out. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll just wait, chill, until the movie starts, and I'll see you then. Alright. Transition! Uh, we are home. We're at Lost Tacos right now, eating dinner, pre-gaming. Look at this boy! Four tacos for six dollars. I came in on the right night, man. Like, oh, Wes, look it's at you! My forearm. Gigantic burrito. Only in California, man. So I got two grilled fish and two fried fish. Don't forget the salsa and some onions and leaves. This burrito is ridiculously hot. Dude, look at that. It's big, man. It's oh big. My How God. God. Let's go. Let's go. go. Yeah. Uh, that was freaking awesome. Six. What happened? We have to ring the bell for good service. Oh, is that what it is? We're gonna have to ring the bell, okay, Wes? What? Woo! <laughs> well, fam, as usual, you know it's only about 30 minutes until the movie starts, so let's get changed, cuz. I can't forget the Marvel t shirt, boy. Yeah! Oh! You got tickets, Wes? Oh, yeah. We're officially on the way! Starting now. Black Brother, let's go! We own yeah. We own yeah. Get some energy drink for a Marvel movie. I don't drink this very often, only for Marvel movie event days. What about you? We're getting fueled up. Yo! 10 on 1 p.m. 14 minutes until show starts. Well, actually, trailer starts. But still, man, we're early. Oh, yeah. A couple times before that, we're always late. <laughs> Not late for the movie, but late for the previews. Yeah. yeah, but still, previews are like, you know, making you extra excited, man. Oh, Cause... yeah. Pump for the future. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs>
Okay, good one, good one. Bucky! Bucky! Oh! <sighs> okay, okay. I know what you guys are thinking. Steven, are you in the closet? Yes, I'm in the closet. Why? Because it's 1.30 in the morning and people are sleeping in my house, but I want to talk Black Panther with you guys. So this is my fresh review of Black Panther. Cue the music. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Opening scene, boom. A little story time, right? I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but in the way they portray the story, it's absolutely beautiful. So the story literally picked up from where Civil War was left off. So if you watch Civil War right before you walk into the theater, you'll be fresh and it feels like it's you just moving one movie to another. It's like a quick shift, it's like a short shift. That's good, Marvel, that's good. First of all, I wanna talk about Black Panther itself. Like Black Panther, T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman did an absolute job. Now, if you, you watch Civil War and you might think like, wow, he did a really good job. Yeah, well, you see nothing yet. In Civil War, we see kind of like the grumpy side of T'Challa because, you know, his dad just got killed and he wanna get revenge. So the first impression that you get from him is like, oh, he's a very serious guy who, he has a lot of duties, being a king of Wakanda, my father just died. That changed completely after watching this movie because as soon as he returned to Wakanda, reunite with his family and start interacting with them, Dude, just like a young guy, like he makes jokes with his family, like how you, you know, because you're you're at home, you're comfortable, right? So that's what you would do. I love the fact that you get to see that T'Challa is actually not what you think he is. At the same time, like I like it even more because I can relate. I love, 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 love the family and friendship dynamic in this movie. The Wakandans, they're very united as a family, as a unit, as a country. And I feel like they're all just like work as a big team to protect each other kind of forever so before i walk into this movie i was like okay there's gonna be a lot of new characters i'm gonna have to like you know try my best to like like them or like get to know them hey there's a lot of side characters and they did a good job like making them all relevant let's start with okoye okoye is kind of like the leader of the female warriors of wakanda and also kind of like the right handmaid for t'challa i love her I love her. She's a bit grumpy. She's a bit serious at times, but she has her own motives. You know, she's very loyal to her country. She cares about the child. The way they interact, you know, like you probably seen the trailer when they were, she's like, don't freeze. I never freeze. You know, like they're teasing each other. They're teasing like if you were cousins or your friends, you do that. I love that. And plus, she's a badass. Number two, her little sister. Why did I forget her name? Shuri. Shuri. I did not expect how much she would play a role in this movie. I thought she's gonna be one of those like sister in the background, but what well, she is, but at the same time, she kind of provides a lot of role in this movie. You know, like she provides the humor, she provides the role of a caring sister. She also provides the brain of Wakanda. She does a lot of stuff. I was like, okay. And she's very, very likable. I love her. I Every time she pops out, I'm like smiling. Like, oh, okay, here comes the fun. Because not a lot of humor in this movie, guys. I'm gonna tell you, not as much humor as like, let's say if you were to watch Thor Ragnarok, no. And then we also get Lupita Nyong'o's character is Nakia. Nakia is a very sweet gal. She has a nice heart. I love her character. And I wanna see her in some more. Let's talk about the action sequence. The action sequence are great. I love the whole Killmonger versus, oh, wait a minute, before we get to action sequence. Let's talk about Eric Killmonger. Eric Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan, man. Like, I've seen him in a lot of roles, but this one, he actually put a lot to the character. He's not just another bad guy. He's not, he's a bad guy because of reasons. And the reasons that I'm like, well, yeah, I feel for you, bro. Like, I get it why you're this way. Kind of reminds me of Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. You know, like, if you watch Spider-Man Homecoming, you know that he turned out to be the dad of Liz and he's doing all this bad stuff because he wants, he loves his family. Same kind of like him. He, he does it because he, he cares about something else that I'm not gonna spoil here. I'm like, okay, I see your struggles, bro. But then at the same time, I kind of see his ego too. I'm like, okay, so yeah, they go hand in hand, you make a bad guy. Okay, back to the action sequence. There was one scene that when they were at the bar, Nakia was fighting. There are moments where I was like watching and then she would be like doing a, a slow punch, but then the impact would be like, Bleh! you know? It just kind of like unbalanced. If I was a director, I'd be like, okay, Nakia, can you try hitting harder? Try swing, you know? Two, there's there's this big battle scene at the end. Loved it. My favorite is the one-on-one -on -one Panther and Killmonger. I love that scene. The chase scene between Black Panther and Claw was good. Claw was good in this movie. I'm a little bit surprised on Wolf what they did with the character. Now, let's talk about the music. Throughout the movie, I feel like the music play a major role. 
making this movie very distinguished from any other Marvel movie, making it feel very distinguished that you are in Wakanda, you're not in some city in Berlin or in New York or in America or in the United Kingdom. You're somewhere completely different, something you've never been before. So the music plays a huge role in this movie and they did it just right. I walked out of this theater thinking, yo, I gotta download this soundtrack right now. I'm not talking about the soundtrack Kendrick Lamar. No, I'm talking about the scores, the background music they put for like a certain feeling. For me, it is, it's the combination of Peter Jackson's King Kong and then Lion King and then also Brother Bear. Some CGI could be tweaked a little bit on certain scenes, certain animals, certain backgrounds. I was kind of like, ooh, you could have, you could, you could have keyed that and color grade that some more, you know. But overall, man, this movie, I'm highly satisfied. It surpassed my expectation a little bit, but it did surpass it. So I enjoyed it. I would see it again. I give it this rating. But that's my review for Black Panther. The best feeling is when the screen goes black and you see Black Panther will return in Avengers Infinity War. Like, oh my gosh, that's next, boy. So I hope you guys enjoy Black Panther. This is my review. Uh, of course, some of you may have different opinions about it, but let me know below what you guys think. Can't wait for Infinity War. And I can't wait to watch Black Panther again and buying it on Blu-ray because it's worth every single penny, in my opinion. All right, guys, that's it for this vlog. Until the next time, you take care now. Bye-bye then. Wakanda forever. Ch -ch -ch.